this is Eduardo Stinger from Videoplasty and welcome to this tutorial where you will learn how to create animated explainer videos or sales videos really fast, uh, really easy, with little to no experience required and uh, with a really, really low budget. And for this particular tutorial, uh, I will also make the video assets available for you to use as well and to follow along with the tutorial. Again, I just want to point out, uh, as I probably said earlier, uh, this tutorial is not meant to teach you the exact technical side of things, but more to teach you the whole concept and how to use uh, something called stock animation. But first of all, let's look at the video we're going to create today. So, you're sick and tired of the same routine. Same job you don't really like that much. But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? Like, pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible. Welcome to YourDreamTrips.com, the best travel agency in your local area. With us, it's all really simple. It doesn't matter if you want to go to an exotic island, go camping, sail around the sea, or go from place to place on a world tour. We got you covered. Don't forget your camera, because once you're on that airplane traveling halfway across the world, you'll want to take a picture of the clouds from your window seat. The view from 10,000 feet is amazing. Or take a selfie when you get there and post it on social media. Or really, just sit on the beach, enjoying the sun and relaxing. That's why you're there, aren't you? So give us a call at 1234-5678 and book your dream holiday today. Okay, I hope you liked that. Uh, basically, this video is just like a fake video for a fake company uh, that I just created for the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, I hope it doesn't look very overwhelming at the moment. And I know you, you might have your doubts right now because it kind of looks a bit hard to create from scratch. But trust me, if you use the method that I'm going to show you here, it's going to be really, really, really simple. Um, so first, let's explore the idea of stock animation and let's see what it is. So the idea of uh, you know stock animation or stock photos or stock footage, if you're familiar with that concept, uh, is that you can get you can access uh, assets that are ready to use and you just purchase the license to use them basically, uh, which kind of gives you a lot a lot of more extra time and uh, saves you a lot of money basically. So let's have a look at uh, some stock animation uh, items so you can better understand the concept. Uh, the, the, the website that we're going to use is videoplasty.com and uh, as a small disclaimer, I own videoplasty.com uh, and the reason why we I'm not showing the other websites is obviously because I own this one uh, but the second one and most important one is because uh, to be honest uh, you can't really find any stock any good stock animation on other big uh, stock footage sites out there like Pond5 or Shutterstock which is also the reason why I started uh, Videoplasty so let's have a look at uh, some of the assets that are used in the video. So let's go to the travel category. Wait for it to load. And here are some of the assets that are used in the video. So for example, uh, I'm not sure if this one is used. I think this one is definitely used, yeah. So packing scene and uh, man traveling with luggage, for example. So as you can see here, it's all sorts of like different elements that can be used in different situations and different videos depending on the story. So this one, you know, obviously can be used on a travel video or uh, like many other things as well. It comes with a transparent background so you can uh, use any color you want or any background. And uh, for this video, as I said, <coughs> you're going to get access to all of those uh, video assets that we used in the tutorial so you can follow along. And for that, please go to... Uh, videoplasty.com forward slash travel tutorial so pause the video right now and uh, go download the assets you will have to opt in with your email address and you will receive an email from me with a link where you can download all of the video assets so pause the pause the tutorial right now and i'll see you soon Hey and welcome back to the tutorial. We are now using Adobe Premiere Pro uh, to do the editing part for this video, but you can pretty much use any video editing software out there that allows you to use QuickTime MOV files with transparent background or with an alpha channel. So 
that should be a new thing from Sony Vegas, Camtasia, and any other video player, basically. Um, the reason why I use Premiere Pro is because I'm from, I, I use the Adobe Suite all the time, like Illustrator, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, After Effects, and all that. Uh, but that's just a personal preference. All right, so I hope you have all the assets now uh, that you just downloaded. Obviously, when you create a video like this, you also need the voiceover, which is included in the package, some music, which we have right here. And uh, obviously, it all starts from a script, but that's a whole different uh, topic for another time. So I, I already imported all the, all the video assets in my Premiere Pro uh, project right here. Uh, so let's just start by creating a changing the background color which in Premiere Pro you do like this go to new item color mat uh, click OK and here you just like enter the I, I already have the hex code for the color from the video <coughs> just gonna call this background select OK and then we just drag and drop here on the timeline and uh, there you go already have the color and now um, um, if I remember correctly, let's see how, for, well, actually, first of all, let's just add the music as well, drag and drop it here. Okay, that's a bit loud, so just gonna, you know, make it a bit more quiet in the background. Yeah, that, that works. Uh, let's just drag and drop the voiceover as well. I'm actually gonna switch those two around, because I gotta see the waveform from the voiceover. There you have it. So you're sick and tired of the same routine. Okay, so the 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 way the video started was with uh, the tired guy, and I think that one is called tired. So there there are two versions here: tired loop and tired. And uh, I'm always gonna go with the, the normal one because it has a start animation as well. So let's just drag a couple of those on the on the timeline so you can understand better how it works. So you're sick and tired of the same routine. Same. So that's that's where the, I'm gonna zoom in a little. So you can see this is where the the waveform kind of has a pause, which means that's where we reach the new the new the new sentence basically. And the next one, the next video I think is sleeping at work. There you go. So I'm just gonna add it here, and uh, as you can see, it already has a start animation like this. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job. You don't really like that much, but then it, but then it hits you. Here on, but then it hits you. I think I used the uh, the part where he gets an idea. So let's just drop that on top. But then it hits you. Uh, and before that, ooh, I was using um, the one with thinking. So just gonna add that on top, make it shorter so I can squeeze it in. And just gonna bring this one here. So let's play it and see how it looks. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job. You don't really like that much, but then it hits you. What? There you go. I think it flows really, really nice right now. Uh, so let's continue. I think the next one uh, that we used was uh, as a scene, actually. Let me see if I can find it. It's, yeah, this is packing in and out. Just going to make this one shorter so it matches the voiceover at this point. So let's see how it goes now. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? Like, pack your stuff right now. Actually, I think I used a different one. Let's just see it in the video. Oh yeah, there you go. Go on adventure. Um, and the next one I was using is this clip right here, traveling. Uh, let's drop it here. Make this one shorter, obviously, because we don't want to use that much of it. So let's see what a voiceover says. If you take a break from all that boring stuff. And Gonna drag this one right after. Bring stuff and go on an adventure. Like, pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible. Uh, obviously, this is not a perfect match to the voiceover. Uh, I can't remember exactly how I did it here. Uh, but I'm just trying to show you the general idea. So I use this one. And after that, I introduced the logo. And in this case, it's not an actual logo. It's just uh, 
you know, I used another icon from the stock animation library. So let me see where that is. As soon as possible. Welcome to your dream. So here at this point, as you can see on the waveform, there's a big of a, a bit, a bit of a pause here. This is where I introduce like the name of the company. You can just use your own logo here or on your own logo animation. Welcome to yourdreamtrips.com. And um, obviously this is not the logo. Just gonna make it a bit smaller using the scale value. That's a bit too small. So let's try 75. There you go, much better. Move it a bit higher here. And um, let's just add a title. Let me just call, yeah, just click OK, leave it like that, and uh, just gonna drag the text area like this. Uh, click and hold, then release, and then just gonna say your dreamtrips.com. Obviously, it looks like shit right now, so we're gonna work a bit on that. Um, select the text and change the font to I don't know, let's try Open Sans. Okay, let's try and make it a bit bigger. Yeah, let's just bold. For the color, let's use white. Uh, also, let's align it to the center. And there you go. Now, now I can drag it a bit lower. I think the video is, yeah, it was, it was actually dark, so it's easier to see. So let's um, select it again and change the color to black. Yeah, there you go, much, much better. Okay, uh, now once this is done, uh, I'll just have to drag and drop it from here on top of this layer right here. And um, there you go. So that's already the first uh, 20 seconds of the video and uh, it only took us literally a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm not gonna go and recreate the entire video. I just wanted to show you this whole concept and how it works and how easy it actually is. Uh, and let's just play back this first 20 seconds now so you can see exactly what we created so far. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job you don't really like that much. But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? Like pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible. Welcome to YourDreamTrips.com, the best travel agency in your local area. All right, I think that looks really, really great, especially for the amount of effort that we just put into it. Again, you can do this with literally any video editing software that allows you to use QuickTime MOV files with transparent background, or it's also called Alpha Channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and continue the rest of the video if you prefer. Uh, play around with all the assets, uh, see what you can come up with. Um, obviously, if you want to create more more videos like this, uh, you can just go to videoplasty.com and uh, browse our library of stock animation assets and download the ones that you want and you can use for your videos. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, let me know what you think in the comment section below this video, I'll check and read all the comments. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive notifications whenever I release new and free training videos like the one you've just watched. This was Edward Stinga from Videoplasty.com and I'll see you soon.